What was that moment like for you when you realized you had to and could get an employee? It was weird. I was like, oh, am I going to hire somebody? Like, what do, like, what do I, where are we going to work? Like, we didn't really, we worked out of my kitchen. We worked out of the Warner Brothers office that I had for a while. My first employee was a graphic designer. And because I wanted everything to look cute. I, you know, I have a strong branding background. Working for Nickelodeon and Warner Brothers, I knew I needed a great logo and I wanted to create a character. So a graphic design person was important. Was there a moment in that time where the agents were like, well, why you? In my brain, it all made sense. Because I remember we were going through this corporate therapy session when I was at Warner Brothers. And one of the corporate therapist people who interviewed me and interviewed people who reported to me and who I reported to said, everybody says the same thing about you. People who report to you, people you report to, that you're more of an entrepreneur. And why haven't you thought about starting your own business? And I thought, well, I always talk myself out of my ideas. I think of 20 ideas a day, and then within a minute, I talk myself out of them. And when the idea for Hungry Girl sort of popped into my brain, I couldn't talk myself out of it. That's a risky move. I mean, what advice do you give to people who have a passion and have an idea, but are too scared to take that step to really dive into it? I feel like you have to really be prepared to give it your all. Like why I thought I'd be a good entrepreneur is because I love to work. I'm a person who will wake up at 5 a.m. and work until midnight and not even think twice about it. Like I love what I do and I love to work. So I'd say if somebody really feels passionate about something and they have an idea they think can really benefit people then and they want to work really hard, I'd say go for it. But I have a backup plan. How did you decide the feel that you wanted for the site? It's bold, it's whimsical, it's fun. I wanted it to feel kind of retro. I, I worked at TV Land for many years, and I loved the look and feel of those like sort of modern retro diner. I loved the colors. And I hired an artist who had worked with me a little bit at TV Land to create the logo and the character, and I wanted I was like, create a version of like the Genie and Bewitched characters from the old TV shows that looks a little like me and a little like Genie and Bewitched. That's so funny that you said that because every time you see it, you hear that little ding when you see the little stars. I feel like entrepreneurs starting out don't realize how these little tiny decisions will really, are they're the building blocks of what your brand is. It, it's true and it's important. And I think Hungry Girl is an emotional brand. I meet people who are really passionate about it and it, it's not easy to build an emotional brand and the most important thing I think when you're building a brand that you want people to feel a strong tie to that they're going to be loyal to is being authentic and people recognize the authenticity I am so hands-on with every single piece of content that comes out of our world no matter how much we expand no matter how many recipes we create a great brand needs a visionary 